Welcome back to another video for Grow Rich, Grow Happy. Uh, this is more so of an uh, instruction video that I wanted to make. Um, I've gotten a couple questions. Uh, one actually from my sister, who uh, who is a watcher of the channel, and she wanted to know a little bit more about uh, staking, um, mainly. And some of you newer uh, people out there to the crypto space that would like to know about staking, uh, staking I'm going to uh, cover that in this video as well as how to find it on some of your favorite apps like Crypto.com and uh, Coinbase app that you can get out of your uh, phone. And for uh, some of you, well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to, for those of you that already have the app, but you've heard me talk about staking and um, how I've generated passive income in the past and how I'm still um, actually uh, gaining passive income by uh, staking my Ethereum over at uh, Coinbase.com. So I'm going to get right into this video. It's not going to be a long one, but again, I always want to... Um, you know slow down for the newer people because that's what this channel is about helping the less experienced investor uh get in and you know change their lives or change their family's lives and and get a foot in the um put their foot in the toe in the their toes in the <laughs> in the um the stream of crypto all right let's uh let's jump to this all right uh, i got these two screens uh, uh screen saved uh and uh here we go uh, let's start with um, Coinbase. If you look over here, this is your general Coinbase app when you pull it up on your phone. It's similar to when you do it on um, the uh, computer as well, but uh, most people, they trade with their phone. So when you log in and you'll see this, you'll see your balance here, you'll see all the different cryptos that you can um, buy, sell, send, add cash, yada, yada. Uh, well, if you click on this, these three bars up here in your upper left-hand corner, it will take you to another screen, which I couldn't find um, on here, um, but uh, it'll take you to another screen. And on that screen, if you scroll down to earn, uh, you will be able to uh, learn a little bit about their staking, Coinbase's staking um, platform and how you can stake your token and add um, uh, passive income. I'm actually going to show you that here in a second. And for Crypto.com, for those of you that use Crypto.com or use both, um, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Actually, you'll log in here and you will go up and click the lines up here. But I do believe on Crypto.com, it's not three lines. It's more so um, three rows of dots. Um, and uh, you would do the exactly the same thing then you would uh, scroll down once it shows you opens that other screen you would scroll down to the area where you um can um earn do um passive earns and rewards and uh, now we're going to i'm going to take you to a, another screen as well <laughs> i've seen a couple people down there in the uh, comments also below said uh how much do i hold of this token or that token uh transparency <laughs> uh they believe in transparency uh well I'm, I'm very transparent i'm not going to show how much i hold in a bag unless it's a, a private group or something uh, maybe in the uh, near future but i i, I do want to leave you with this if what I provide is education. I'm trying to provide education. I'm providing um, some of my research and some of the things that I do hold. If if your reason for buying is if I hold this or not, I have to hold it in order for you to buy it. And you can't do your own due diligence. And um, basically, you know, do your own research. Take what I give you and run with that because remember i said you're not buying because i'm buying it you're buying it because of your strong convictions so if i have to show you um how much exactly of a particular token that i hold in order for you to be confident to buy it you have to ask yourself do i really need this token if i'm really dependent upon somebody else's bag before i make my own uh decision so it's just something to think about but in the future, actually, when I do create a, a a separate group, and that's sometime down the line, I will be actually transparent. I feel like I'm being transparent now. What I won't do is I won't lie about a project if I hold it or not. But um, no, I won't do that. That's just not in me. I'm I'm here to teach you and help you learn. Some of the, if I don't hold a project, I will share that. All right. Uh, and again, I don't wanna 
uh, make this video too long. So I'm going to, uh, uh, hold on one second. Let me get this screen up here for you guys. And then we go, I'll do this. Um, let's get back to this. Okay, guys. All right. So now what I'm on now is uh, Coinbase's uh, staking um, platform. So when you do click, I wanted to show you some of the tokens that you can uh, stake over on Coinbase. And here they are. Uh, you can stake. This is the list of tokens that Coinbase will allow you to stake right now. And again, I am staking Ethereum. And right now, there's no minimum balance to stake. I stake, uh, I, re I receive my payout, which is a uh, dollar and something I get every three days. You know, that's better than a bank. You can't beat that. And I've been holding it there. I mean, I'm just watching those uh, dollars add up every three days. Um, and the, the one thing I do like about Coinbase's uh, staking is that um, I can unstake it at any time that I get ready. And uh, for there, it typically takes roughly uh, 48 hours uh, to process it and then release it. Why that's good, people, when you're looking at staking platforms, you want to look at the hold time. Like some, like a crypto.com, they, they offer three, at least they used to in the past. I don't stake anything over there now. But they offer three uh, staking options. One, you can stake for, well, actually four. You can stake for 24. You can stake one of them you can stake and you can just unstake it whenever you get ready and uh but you get less um apy on that and then they have one where you can stake for uh um 30 days you get a little bit more then you can stake one for 60 days you get a little bit more and then of course they have one you can stake for uh three months which is 90 days that you can uh receive the max and my strategy for this i was staking do a heavy during the bear market because i knew that crypto really wasn't doing anything so a lot of the things i like to stake during the bear markets when the price is not you're not going to see a big uh rise or fall in crypto because then i can maximize and get more returns and not have to worry about the market just suddenly exploding and my damn coins being locked up <laughs> so that's the one thing that's my biggest worry so before i staked into coinbase I made sure first, how long is it going to take me to unstake, say, uh, Ethereum go to $100,000 or something. Not to say that it is, but I'm just using that as an example. I don't want to be scared like, man, I get my tokens locked up. So 48 hours is good. And I, I thought I read somewhere that it was, it was a week. Either way, uh, 48 hours or a week. But it, it varies for each coin. For Cardano, now, uh they're telling you how much you would get here needed. You need at least a dollar's worth of uh, ADA to lock up. Uh, protocol unstaking period, zero days, meaning you can take it right out, which is great. Additional Coinbase unstaking uh, process is uh, the same. It's both the same that is here with, uh, let me see, what is it, Ethereum? Minimum 27 hours longer in periods of high demand. Yeah, okay, so it takes you really no time. I used to stake Solana over on Coinbase as well. And every three days I was getting close to a dollar, I want to say. I, 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 I've removed it from there though now and I hold it in my tangent wallet, my Solana, but I still stake Ethereum over there. Now, here's another good thing to know about staking. And this, this is the part that really sucks uh, due to regulations. There are some places that you just can't get it. Like uh, New York, for instance. If you live in New York and you're trying to stake some crypto, you can't do it. Pre-existing regulations continue to prevent us from offering staking to residents. And I think that's terrible. Uh, but until until some regulations change, they're not going to be able to do it. Uh, up here, new principle can be staked. And you guys can check this out. But in a few of these, like Illinois and different ones like this, there is some talk of where uh you're not going to be able to do it actually you can't do it there either coinbase continues to get engaged with regulators in these states but residents remain eligible to stake at this time eligibility is subject to change and what i think this is right here is while these people can't really stake if they've already had their token staked and they haven't um 
unstake them, then Coinbase is not going to make you remove them. But as soon as you unstake those tokens, you won't be able to restake them until um, until some laws change. So um, so that's Coinbase. And um, what I'll do is I'll leave a um, link to both of these sites where you guys can go in and do a little bit more uh, learning and figure out how you can make some passive income. I, I, I highly suggest people really do that uh do some staking you want to be aware though of staking on um because a lot of these tokens you can stake actually on their websites i'm a little leery about that because i'm not too sure what if something happens to that that site now my coins are locked up over there think people like crypto.com and um coinbase i don't worry about those guys are well established and they've been in the game a while so i don't worry about stacking there um staking there so these are the tokens that you can stake over here, guys. All right, so it's just going to take us over to crypto.com. Same thing. Same thing, except they have a different selection of tokens from what I think. Yeah, they actually have a larger selection of tokens that you can stake over here. So look at this. Look at this. So you guys can check this out. It's pretty much exactly the same as what I've just uh, talked about with um, Coinbase, except you have a, a wider variety of tokens. <clears throat> right here uh minimum staking amount rewards and a lot of these are um let me see staking uh, rewards crediting destination okay hold on hold on wow they got a lot of them they got more than they used to have i hate that they took shiba off off of over here where they used to have it where you can stake it because i i gained a lot of shiba staking it over there uh let me see casper so any of you guys hold any of these tokens you could go over there and check them out Check them out. Um, but be remember what I said. You want to always make sure you uh, know how long your stuff is going to be locked up. And meaning because I'm telling you, worst case scenario, you're holding something like uh, uh, Cardano. Cardano is roughly like 60 something cent right now. And they say Cardano, you holding a nice little number of those and it shoots up to $3 and you go to unstake you can't unstake it there's nothing you can do to get your tokens out if your time lapse has not up yet if you're if you've staken it for three months or a month and you still got three days left and cardano is up to ten dollars and you really want to make your money you cannot take it out under no circumstances so make sure a good rule of thumb is i say um kind of gauge the market and it's it's a guessing game, but remember what I said: if you're if you're uh, doing proper research, you can um, pretty much take a lot of that uh, fear off the table, take a little bit of that gambling off the table, and you can just do your little research, figure out okay, what when do I think? When do I predict that uh, Cardano is gonna gonna uh, start rising? And uh, then you can base your staking uh, time on that. So for me and eh, around these times now with this uh upcoming having and the bull market started has started i try not to go no longer than a month maybe maybe and i have to be able to take my tokens out in a moment's notice but again that's just me so and i'll leave a link to this one as well underneath guys um so yeah that's uh staking making passive income and I highly suggest, I think it's a, it's a great mechanism for uh, making passive income in crypto. And when this bull run is over and the halving schedule has, uh, has come and gone, and you're looking at probably the end of next year, um, there's talk that it could end sooner. So you have, to, uh, you have to prepare for that too. But once all that is done and you've made your money, you've made your money with the rest of that crypto, you know, it's a, that's a good time to stake and just make passive income while you're waiting for while you're waiting for another cycle. Now, financial advice. Again, um, I just wanted to make this uh, this educational video for a lot of you that are new to crypto. Um, I, again, if you like videos like this, let me know if you got some questions or would like a video on something else and you're new to crypto. Just let me know. I'll see what I can do. And um, for those of you that would like to your new to crypto you can go over to my website tfnpodcast.com and over there 
uh, you know, let me know you was there. Drop your email address here, and um, you get two free bonuses. And then you go over to the download section, and everything you need on crypto for a new investor or some of you veterans. There's some helpful stuff here, and it's all absolutely free. You can download it, and you can use it as a reference to the guideline. Um, if you like videos like this again, and this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Keep researching and keep making those gains. I love y'all.